Hey everyone, it's Jessica, and I bet you're wondering what in the world is going on right now. What is on my screen? This, my friend, was supposed to be a what's in my planner bag video, um, but instead I decided to do what's in my planner box. And this is the box that I pull out. There's a few things that I have to go and get for my desk, but this is the box that I pull out that has roughly everything I need to sit down and have a planning session. So if you want to know what's in my planner box, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's move this big guy. Woo, look, my background is moving. That is not equipped for this planner box. And um, I'm actually going to zoom you guys in some. I'm gonna start pulling out some stuff. Okay, so very first thing we have is my makeshift um, happy planner sticker book. This is the one that I punched myself. Um, I didn't do a video on it, but I did a video explaining what I did. Um, so that is what this is. So I keep this handy because I love me some Happy Planner sticker books. And this here is the actual original version, I guess you would say of the Happy Planner sticker book. This is the one um, that is the actual one from Happy Planner. So that is what this is. And I keep um, these in here because it's easier to look through 15 different books this way than 15 different books another way when I want a certain sticker. So those are my favorite things. And then here are two other things that I use not as often but I do use them. Um, these are just Dollar Tree photo books, just the cheap ones. And I actually use these for my stamps. I have Studio L2E stamps and Sweet Stamp Life stamps. But these are all planner stamps. Um, like I said, I don't use these as often as I used to, but I do use them. Um, these are actually from Joann's. They're the Bujo stamps. But I do use them. Um, I have an idea to do a video on stamping, so you guys will get to see these in more detail. Um, this is actually the ones that I have gotten through Coco Daisy. These are all my Coco Daisy stamps and the Planner Society stamps and any other ones that I may have gotten. Some sweet stamp shop. These are more of the, um, well, aside from a few of these, like the tracker ones, they're more um, decorat decorative stamps than functional stamps. It's a really cute set. Anyways, I was really big into stamping way back when I was in Erin Condren. Um, I stamped like crazy because it was cheaper to me than stickers and needless to say, say it was just one big rabbit hole. Not really any cheaper. Um, another thing that I use quite a bit, and I think I've showed it in a video before, is my Xyron. So what the Xyron is, is there's an arrow here, and you can put things like a die cut or a tab in here. And pull, I'm not going to because it'll waste, but you pull here, and it puts um, adhesive from this roll onto the back side of your sticker. And or die cut or punch or whatever um, will fit in that hole um, and it turns it into a sticker. I got mine at Walmart. Um, it was a couple of bucks. 
uh, definitely one of the most cheap, one of the more uh, cheaper planner supplies, but still one that I love. Um, let's see. Woo! My box almost fell. Let's move it closer. Um, this we will go through in a minute because that's my Kipling. Um, I keep a big stack here of stickers that um, I'm not currently using but that I want to keep in my sticker collection like these really cute stickers for fall that I got from Katie Lou's. Oh, her stickers are so cute. Look at that little fox. Oh, y'all tomorrow is the 22nd and it's the first day of fall and I can't wait. Um, and the ones that I got from Kenley's Doodles. Oh no, a sticker come off. I need to put it back on so I can save it. Um, I got these actually a while ago and I haven't used them yet. Um, because I had to move into my planner. But anyway, just random sticker sheets that I've gotten at meetups or that I have ordered like from Planner Bell Press. Oh, I ordered a bunch of these last year and ended up using Coco Daisy and didn't get to use them. But anyways, that's what that is. If I can move them out they want to keep sticking to my background here put those right there um and then these are just stuck in here these are bible tabs from illustrated faith and some um mini happy planner color covers that i was going to use to make dashboards and i never did so anyways we can move on Definitely move on from these. Okay. The last things that are in my planner box are my collection of Stadler pins. I still love them. Stadler, I think it's how you say it. Julia, you can correct me if I'm wrong because I know you're watching. Um, these are the Tripolis Fine Liners. I think they're 0.3. Yep, 0.3 millimeter. Then I have the Tripolis Color, which, um, are more like the Paper Mate flares. They're 1.0 millimeter tip and the um, colored pencils. And I like these because they um, are all the same colors. So if I use a yellow, I have yellow and yellow that all match. So let's move on to my Kipling. So my Kipling case is the one that comes with me practically everywhere. This goes to me when I leave the house. It comes, sorry. I know that's shaking. Um, when I leave the house and I know I'm going to have time to plan, it comes with me. It travels with me. This is my main planning buddy. So when I open, a lot of this is changed out from some of my past videos. I have some color coding pens here that I use sometimes for certain things. Um, my Tweezerman tweezers, some of the Stadler, 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 if you're a good old country girl like me, um, pens, I think in the point one and point three. Yep. Um, point one and point three. These are the pigment liners. Very, very good pens. And then these are some of the pens from, um, I think it's U Brand. Sorry, guys. U Brand. Yeah, my dog has decided to bark at the mailman. Um, but these are the U Brand pens from, I found these at Staples. They're the ombre ones. Then I also have my Tim Holtz uh, scissors. These are so good, by the way. Um, this is from a Planner Society kit, from the April Planner Society kit, I believe. I have all of my extra sticker sheets and ones that I use on a regular basis in here. So those are all of my icons. I have a Prima Planner Glue 
planner glue pen. Oh, I love this for die cuts. I have some of the American Crafts Precision Pen, the 0 .3, 0 .1, no, it, I'm sorry, it's 01, 03, and 05. These are kind of like the pigment liners. They're really good for, you know, acid-free, stuff like that. And then I have more stickers. I just have some paper clips thrown in here. There's a mini paper clip and a pineapple paper clip. Um, a sampler from Bunny Plans, which is really cute. Some washi, some stickers that I made myself for coating because <laughs> um, I used the coating in another video. Um, may or may not have gone up yet, uh, but when I need to do the clean my mat, so when I needed to do the clean my Mac, I put one of these down. And then this is for the time machine when I need to back up my computers and QuickBooks for my husband. Um, and then I have just extra sheets of these because I know I'm going to need them soon. My cactus uh, watering stickers. I use these also. Then the stickers from the current planner society kit that I'm going to use. The, this is a stencil that I purchased. I'll put a link down below to the shop because I've had it forever. But I've been using this more and more. Uh, these are some stencils that I made way back when. Some little checklist stencils. More of the box sticker kit from the Planner Society. And the sticker kit from there. And then these are just stickers. I purchased some clip art from Spirit Bin to make uh, die cuts and decided to use them for stickers. And uh, they're really tiny, but I really like those. And some more stickers. These are just ones that I use for my personal planning, calendar labels. Oh, and this. This is more stickers right here. I'm going to put these down. This is a really cool girl. Um, I found her through a planner group. It's Hedge Hollow, and uh, she's on Instagram. Um, her Instagram name, I'll flash up here on the screen, but it's Hedge, H-E-D-G-E -E dot Hollow. She actually gives away a really cool, really good um, printables, and um, she gives you the printable file and the SVG file. Um, for free and they are amazing stickers you just print them out yourself I cut mine with the silhouette you don't have to cut it with a silhouette but I do and they're just really cute decorative stickers so I have um, been really checking her out following her making sure I don't miss any of the cute goodness so that is the stuff that I take with me on a daily basis and this way um Everything I should need to plan is in my Kipling. And uh, that way I can take it with me and do some planning on the go. Everything else is in this cute little bin that I've had forever that I got from Lowe's, actually. Um, so, yeah. That, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> that, my friends, is what is in my planner bag. Oh, and I forgot one thing. This isn't in my planner bag, but it is, I have a coffee table that has like a, uh, a shelf underneath. So I keep this, that's my planner shelf, and I always keep my fish, fishers or fiskers, whatever you want to call it, um, cutter. And I keep a pack of wipes because I, they're baby wipes, you know, just huggies. Got it from Target, you know, with little thing. I keep that to clean my stamps off. Um, I have some inks under here too. Versa, uh, Versafine in the black is normally what I, that's my normal go-to. Um, let me move this and I'll show you the other thing that I always keep um, wherever my main planning spot is, which is currently my coffee table. So give me just one second and I'll clear this off. Okay, so the other thing that I keep close to where I plan, it's not actually in my planner box. And it's not, you know, 
easily to easy to transport but it is something that I do keep where I plan so um I subscribe to the planner society I do um, subscribe to a few other things okay one other thing the Coco Daisy day in the life kit Ugh, I'm struggling I love Coco Daisy but I'm just not using it for like journaling and stuff so I either need to get my behind in gear and actually do some art journaling or I need to just cancel the subscription um either way I keep them all the kits in these boxes these thin clear ones they're super thin they're from Isis um Iris not Isis um Iris I will link them down below or is it Isis I'll find them I got them from Michaels they don't have a brand name on them uh, but they're the scrapbooking boxes um and they're the the ultra thin ones and I keep my planner society kits in these so the care the kits that I'm currently using which is one from for my main planner and for the time being one of my older kits for my b6 slim I'm sorry not b6 slim just the plain old b6 um but I like these because they hold everything. They hold the washi. I subscribe to the washi, the sticker, the main kit, the washi kit, and the sticker kit, the sticker box kit, all the kits. I get all the kits um, from the Planner Society. And everything that comes in the kit, extra paper that I use scrap paper, the shaker boards and pockets, um, the puffy stickers, the die cuts, the notepads, the tabs, the vellum, the bags. I keep the bags too. They're under there. All of that um, I keep in one box and I keep the box out where I'm planning so it's you know under my coffee table on the shelf under my coffee table for right now um because that's where my planning spot is but I keep everything from the kit in one place so when I'm planning if I need a die cut or a piece of paper or something like that I have it right here in one box and I can go straight to it so, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm so glad to be back and back in the routine of uploading twice a week um, for right now. And uh, maybe in the future I can upload more than twice. But um, I'm really happy to be back and I hope that you guys are enjoying all the videos that I'm putting out. Um, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Likes help me a lot. They help me to get noticed on the back end of YouTube. Um, but the subscriptions, they just let me know that I'm doing a good job <laughs> and that you guys really like my stuff. Uh, so I hope to be back in a few days with another video and uh, I will see you guys in the comments. Bye!